All right, Shalom Akim, all praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bashem Yah Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, you know, and peace and blessings to your fellow Akim out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. Okay, it's Brother Khanat. And once again, I, I want to come to you, brothers. Um, you know, I pray that this video was edifying, you know, edifying to the elect, you know, because we do all things for the edification of the body. Okay. And so basically I want to get into, you know, a topic. And uh I believe the top the top the name of the video is gonna be There's more to life than obtaining women. You know, and that's a big hurdle, okay, uh, especially, you know, with the Akim, especially you know, once you come to realize that, you know, you can have more than one woman, it's, it's lawful, you know, uh, and then you have, you know, the so-called white man, he puts these things out in front of you. He puts, you know, pr a women with provocative clothing out in front of you, and he makes it to where your whole life is centered around obtaining women, all right? Ever since you was a little kid, your whole life is about obtaining a woman, a beautiful woman, okay, which there's nothing wrong, you know, with, with women, or having women, but we have to understand, you know, there's more than life than doing that, okay, than going out, you know, going to the club, going to the bar, you know, uh, online, searching for women, you know, out and about, search for women, you know, obtaining women, because in this, in this society, a woman is held in a very high regard, okay, that's like, that's basically, that's your symbol of success, okay, which the scriptures speak about, you know, the woman, being um the glory of a man let's bring that out real quick you know and i have some i have a couple of scriptures prepared for you brothers you know and, and once again you know i pray that the video is edifying so let's uh let's bring this scripture out real quick this is first corinthians 11 and 7 for a man indeed ought not to cover his head for as much as he is the image of the most high uh as, as he is the image and glory of the Most High, but the woman is the glory of, of the man. And that's why men, they they do, you know, above and beyond to obtain, you know, a woman in this society. You know, and the more beautiful a woman is, the more of a, a value she, uh, she, she holds in society, okay? You know, her social status, you know, increases even though she doesn't know how to, you know, so you know, take care of children, which proves to you that this whole society is backwards. And, you know, and, and Jake, you know, they'll, they'll do anything for a woman, you know, they'll, they'll try that. Why do you think a lot of these guys, you know, a lot of men, they, you know, they try to, uh, uh, achieve great, you know, feats in this, in this world, whether it be in the sports world, the entertainment world. Okay. Uh, having that top level job, working at a, a very, um, very recognized so-called company is because it gives you more of a status to obtain women but the world or life okay life as uh, for an israelite man especially those in the body is more than trying to obtain women you know because really if you think about it you know um having a woman that's like that's a very pleasurable thing you know that and, and especially in this society you know a woman can you know, give you comfort, but then there comes what stipulations to that, you know, uh, you have to deal with that woman, okay, and uh, Satan can jump on her, okay, but if your whole life is centered around obtaining a woman, okay, that woman is going to, uh, um, that woman is going to pass away, or that woman cannot save you, okay, let me bring out this scripture, because, you know, Zerubbabel, he spoke of these things in First Ezra, the fourth chapter, Okay, let's go right to the point. This is uh 1st Ezra 4 and 13. Then the third who have be who who has spoken of women and of and of the truth, this was the Rubabel, began to speak. O ye men, it is not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth. And basically they were having a competition on you know what thing in the world is strong, the strongest of them all. You know, one man said wine, you know, he gave the breakdown. One man said a king, and then Zerubbabel, what did he say? He spoke of the woman, and then he and then he also spoke of 
of the truth, which the truth is, is stronger than all. But you see how, you know, when you look at it, the woman is really one of those big strongholds, okay, that have destroyed a lot of men, okay? They can't get past that because they feel they need to be validated, okay, by having a woman, okay, by having multiple women or trying to, you know, obtain women by any means, whether it be by obtaining more riches, okay, trying to attain more power, be, being more sly with the words, being more, um, you know, uh, presentable in society where a woman will accept you, okay, when we really are supposed to seek our acceptance of Yahweh Shai, okay, uh, verse 14, O ye men, is it not the great king, nor the multitude of men, neither is it wine that excelleth, who is who is it then that ruleth them, or has the lordship over them? Are they not women? So women really have the rulership over you men, okay, in this society. Okay, you got the Me Too movement. You have all these different movements that, you know, set women on a pedestal. And, and this is not a video, you know, to talk about how women are wicked, okay? This, this is not a video. This is a video to, to, to show brothers that life is more than obtaining a woman and you don't want to fall into that trap, you know, of, you know, always looking for a woman because you're, you, you, you feel that you lack something in society. Uh, you know, the people, people look at you some type of a certain type of way. If you don't have a, a committed girlfriend or you don't, you're not in the, uh, in the stages of being married. Okay. Or you just don't have a, a woman period. Okay. Men will look down upon you. Women have borne the king and all the people that bear rule by the by the land by sea and land, even of the of they can't. Let me uh slide here. One second. Verse sixteen. Even of them came they, and they nourished them up that planted the vineyards, from whence the wine cometh. These also make garments for men. They bring glory unto men. See, they bring glory unto men because the glory of a man is the woman. So that's why a man will go out and do, you know, crazy things just to obtain a woman or to get the attention of a woman to the point to where they'll steal other women from men. OK, because of their lust. These bring glory unto men, and without women cannot men be. That's right, because a, a woman and a man is needed. A woman is needed to create life. Okay, so a woman is a very important. But uh, as an Israelite man, your, um, your goal in life, okay, should not be trying to obtain women like the, the world uh, goal is, okay? Like these rappers, they'll have all the money in the world, but they'll, they'll be ruled by a woman. Okay, you have a woman throw them in prison. Have a woman tell them this, tell them that, or you can't deal with these women. Okay, here this guy can have a billion dollars, but a woman rules over them. Okay, because they're in the spirit of the world. Okay, and their whole life was trying to obtain women. Okay, through uh, flashy cars, flashy clothes. You know, uh, being being recognized. Okay, in this world, having esteem in this world. Okay, they they worked hard and diligent to obtain those things. OK, and we're we're we are supposed to work hard and diligent to obtain us a, a, a spiritual things. OK. Verse 18, yea, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other goodly thing. Do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty, which the most high set the woman up for the man? OK, it tells you that the, the, that the woman was created for the man, not the man for the woman. So the most high he has created. The woman, he has made the woman, you know, desirable to the man, okay, uh, to um, desire that woman, okay, to have comfort in that woman, okay? But we have to understand that this is not our goal in this in this uh, day and age, okay, or in, in this time, okay, which the Most High is going to give us women in the kingdom of heaven, okay? He's going to give us pretty much all our highest desire, as many women as you want, but now you have uh, men that really, really value a woman, okay, really, really, especially if she's a beautiful woman, she looks good, they really, really value her, they don't want to lose her, so they, they'll put up with shit, okay, they'll work long hours, they'll do crimes, okay, let me read verse 18 again, yea, and if a man has gathered together gold and silver, 
or any other goodly thing, do they do do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? So even though they obtain all those riches, really, they really love a woman more. You know? And letting all those things go, do they not gape? And even with open mouth, fix their eyes fast on her? Or you have men that look at a woman, they'll 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 uh pretty much uh uh you know have their mouth open like the scripture is saying they gape, they look at oh my god, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Oh. You know? You have men that do that because of the beauty of a woman. And 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 have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver or gold or any or any goodly thing whatsoever. Because really, all right, a man, a man really desires a woman more than anything. Okay, and everything else is just uh additives. Okay, but in this society, you need to obtain all those things, okay. To be able to uh, get these women, so your 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 whole pursuit is really to obtain a woman. You working those long hours. You you're going to school, okay? Which let's bring out another scripture. All right, we're not supposed to be wooed by uh, by the beauty of a woman, you know. Which a lot of men are wooed by the beauty of a woman, and they are falling short. All right, some have been put to death. A lot of a lot of things uh, a lot of things have happened because uh, a men covet uh, a, a woman. Let me uh, bring this out. This is Sirach twenty five and twenty one. Stumble 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 not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. And this is what this world is all about. It's about stumbling at the beauty of a woman. Okay, if a woman has beauty. She's held in high regard. Okay, she she'll get a show. She'll be on the magazine. They'll label her label, label her uh, one of the the most beautiful women in the world. Okay, she'll she, she'll uh, have now have power over men. Okay, if if not more, more men will be running after her. You know, pretty much you know begging her to get with her. And you you have men that pretty much will go up to women and say, look, I'll I'll pay for. It. What do you what do you want? What is your price? I'll, in a, in, a, in a roundabout way, they'll pretty much offer the woman. Not even in a roundabout way, they'll tell her, "Hey, look, I'll drop ten bands on you. I'll drop ten stacks. You want me to take you? You want it? You want this? You want a car? Okay? Because they stumble at a beauty of a woman. And when you're stumbling, you don't. Even, when you stumble, you're not even. You don't even know that. Or I should say, after the stumble comes a fall. Okay? If you don't, if you're not able to catch yourself, and desire her not for pleasure. Because really, once once you know the pleasure is done, what is she good for? If she's not, you know, a viable woman, if she's not been uh, uh, bringing a benefit to you, you know, she's a liability, and and pretty much the majority of these women in this society are liabilities. So that should give you more of an incentive not to, you know, uh, not to uh, uh, run. OK, or stumble at a beauty of a woman or not to try to uh, uh, obtain women. OK, like which there's nothing wrong with, you know, dealing with women. You know, uh, Paul, he speaks about that. Let's bring that out real quick. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and 1. Now concerning the things which things uh, thereof he wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Right? Because Paul, he he didn't he didn't deal with women. So it really, you know, uh, the best advice really is not to deal with a woman, which, you know, in this wicked society is very hard. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. So there's nothing wrong with actually getting a woman if you, you know, if you, if that's your, your spirit is inclined to that, but your, your, your life should not be about, okay, how can I obtain this woman? Because really there's always going to be a better looking woman than a woman that you have always a woman that has something, you know, that you like, you know, which, which goes to show you that we're supposed to have more than one woman, but, but, you know, we're in the last days. That's not profitable. You know, that's not profitable. Okay. To do that. Okay. Especially if you have a uh, responsibility of looking after a flock. 
it speaks about, you know, being, a, um, you know, having one woman, you know, if you're, you know, if you have like pretty much, if you have a, a position, okay, a power or a position of leadership, I should say. It says, nevertheless, to avoid fornication, let every man have his own wife. So it's okay to have a woman and let every woman have her own husband. You know, let's go back to uh, Second Ezra. Uh, Second Ezra four and twenty: A man leaveth his own father that brought him up and his own country, and cleaveth unto his wife. Which that's that's what the Most High wanted. You know, um, um, you know, a man shall leave his mother and father and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. You know, he he sticketh not to spend his life with his wife and remembereth neither father nor mother nor country because you become more or you become more close to that woman than you become close to your family by this also ye must know that women have dominion over you so really women have dominion over the world over the men of the world okay but we are not supposed to allow women to have dominion over us okay the only ones who have dominion over us is Yahweh Shemal Shai but this world teaches you to, you know, fastly attach your 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 uh your 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 energy into finding a woman, you know, looking for and maintaining women in the society. And you have it to where you have men that will go to different countries, you know, just just to deal with women. They'll travel the world just so they can deal with women. Okay, have more of an advantage, so to speak. They'll go to different countries where you know, it's more uh, poverty stricken. Women are more inclined to to be with a man of power or with, or to have some type of power. OK, you have men that travel the world. OK, do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? So you have men that, that do that. They'll work lab laborious hours, laborious hours, you know, put up with their boss and they'll bring it all to the woman to, to blow to spend because that woman has dominion over them. And that's the spirit of the world. Yea, a man taketh his sword and go his way to rob and to steal and to sell upon the sea and upon rivers. So a man would do anything necessary, you know, to, to bring back to his woman, to bring substance to his woman or to achieve a woman, whether it be killing a man. And many have, you know, uh, perished, which is going to go into it. And look if upon a lion. If a man... Uh, uh, if there was a prize to get a beautiful woman, okay, <laughs> you have men they'll go and, and wrestle lions for it, for that woman, okay, just with it, just by, just the, the chance of getting with that woman, okay, and go in the darkness, and when he has stolen, spoiled, and robbed, he bringeth it to his love. So a man, a man would do anything, all right, okay, to obtain a woman, okay, to keep that woman happy, and this is uh. The spirit of the world okay and we're not supposed to be in that spirit okay we're not you're not supposed to allow that to uh, have dominion over you okay the women in society that's part that's part of uh, the, the the flesh that's part of the the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes you know the so-called white man he set it up that way he set it up to where he'll have women just running around rampant you know uh, clothes off you know totally just out of order, which that that is uh that's totally backwards. That's not how a society is ran. Okay. Okay, so this world is totally uh out of order. Okay, and a woman is out of order. Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father and mother, yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women and become servants for their sake. Many have done that. Many men have run out of their wits, have lost their minds for a woman, for a woman that's a, a weaker vessel. But see that power of the, you know, the power of the vagina, so to speak, and, and you know, the, that calmly look or that the opposite, you know, a man being more uh, rugged and a woman being more um, feminine or, or, or delicate. So a man, he, he needs that. He wants to, he has, and then he has the urge, you know, a man, in this society are led by their urge to uh, to have sex, you know, which in this society we have we have to keep all those things in subjection, you know, which is which is very hard, which, 
you know, if, if, if it's too hard for you, you're burning, that's when you get a woman. It says, many also have pairs and herb and sin for women. So a lot of men are dead in jail. Okay, got destroyed by the Most High. Okay, because of women. All right, on drugs because of a woman. All right, and we're not supposed to allow power, okay, over ourselves like that uh, through women. We're not supposed to allow a woman have power over us. This is uh, Proverbs 31 and 3. It says, let me, let me start up top. What my son, verse 2, what my son, I'll start at 1. The words of King Lemuel, the prophecy that his mother taught him. So his mother taught him this. All right. What my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. Give not thy strength unto women. You see? You're not supposed to give your strength into women. And giving your strength into women is having your life, you know, um, occupied in trying to obtain women. All right, that's the spirit of the world. All right, you have men that, you know, buy designer clothes. You know, they'll uh, go to the mall. They'll look look up how to how to speak to women better. You know, or they'll just get just work harder to get that nice Camaro. Okay, and pull up on her, or flex on Instagram. Okay, that's giving your strength unto unto women. Nor thy ways to that was destroyed of kings, and this destroys many. This have destroyed many men, like we just read in Second Ezra. So let me read it again. Second Ezra four and twenty seven. Many also have perished. See, have erred and sinned for women. Why? It's because they gave their power unto women. Okay, really, that woman is over them. They worship. <clears throat> they worship women. The worship of woman, women is very, very, is very high in the society, and you can see it on all these different uh, nations, religion. They all have uh, uh, some type of god, or in, in, in some type of capacity, they worship the woman, whether it be the womb, they worship the vagina, they worship uh, birth, uh, giving birth, you know, they worship uh, the different. Um, Organs of a woman, you know, our breast, you know, they'll have a God with 30 breasts on, you know, they'll, they'll do things like that. All right. Then they'll concoct a story, uh, to, uh, showing you that she has power. Okay. You even have like the so-called, uh, black conscious community. They speak, okay. Of the black woman as being a God and a God is something that you worship. So our people, they're in a spirit of worship of a woman. And you can see it. They, they'll do any and everything to try to obtain that woman. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, bring out another scripture. Let's go back to uh, 1 Corinthians 7. This is uh, 1 Corinthians 7 and uh, 27. It says, Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loose. Art thou loose from a wife? Seek not a wife. Okay, let me read this again. Art thou bound unto a wife? Uh, do, do you have a woman? Okay. Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loose. Meaning, don't seek to put that woman away if she's, you know, doing, if she's trying, if she's trying to do what she wants to do. Okay. Or you, you'll, you know, you uh, want to be loose from that woman. So you go get another woman. All right. You can have more, more than one woman. Okay. Art thou loose from a wife? So if you don't have a woman, seek not a wife. Why, why, uh, uh, why should you not seek a wife? It says, but, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. So if you do get a woman, you have not sinned. But it's going to go into it, the reason why not to seek after a, a woman, okay? And if a virgin marries, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such I have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. So, okay, go out, go ahead and get a woman. It's not, you're not doing anything wrong, okay? But you're going to have trouble in the flesh. And you see that brothers are catching pure hell with that woman, you know? But it's not, it's not, it's not going off to actually get a woman. But what, what's going off is if you... If you uh, put your, your time and your energy to obtaining women, that's your whole life goal is, to, okay, how can I get this 
this nice looking woman. Okay, how can I get this beautiful woman? That's when that's where you're falling short. Verse 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. So the time is very short. Okay. What is that time? What is that short time that Paul is speaking about? It's talking about the end of the world, the end of Esau's world. Chaos. Okay. Martial law, Jacob's trouble, thermonuclear missiles. It remaineth that both they that have wives, so if you do have a woman, be as though they had none. It's like you had not a woman. It's because you're tending to the flock of Yahweh Shema Shai. Okay? That woman doesn't that woman doesn't have dominion over you. And you know what? A lot of men allow the woman to have dominion over them because the woman uh, uh, is, is upset or the woman might have their kid, okay, or their kid, their children. Okay, and they don't, they, they fear losing that woman and another man laying down with that woman because ultimately that's what's going to happen, okay, uh, 10 times out of 10, all right, that woman, she's going to go off and she's going to uh, lay down with another man, which if you consider these things, all right, uh, you would not you would not be all strucken because that woman was with another man before she ran off with you. Okay. Let me bring out another scripture real quick. Real quick. Like, let me find it. This is uh, Sirach 26 and 11. It says, watch over an impudent eye. Let me go up. Uh, verse 10, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through overmuch liberty. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Okay. Because th these are women of, uh, of America. You know, they're, they're Americanized. So there's no possible way for you to actually uh, put your foot down, because really, if a woman, if you have a woman, that's your property, okay, as as the scriptures speak. But we know that, as Paul spoke about, the time is short; that we're supposed to be as we have no wives. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Let me keep reading. Verse 29, 1 Corinthians 7 29. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none, and they that weep as though they wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not, and they that use this world as not abusing it, okay? Not to overuse this world. Okay, and, and you can overuse this world by dealing with multiple women or your whole life is about, oh, yeah, I'm, I, uh, oh, yeah, I'm about to go. I'm about to go here. I'm about to do this. I'm about to do that so I can I get this woman. And your whole life is going to be consumed. All right. And then when she breaks your heart, then you're all then you're all messed up. Now, now you now you hate God because the most High took the woman away from you. But the fashion of this world passes away. So the, the whole way that this society is set up is going to pass away and that including women being able to get abroad okay as including you you going out searching for a woman because that's not really that's not a custom of israel okay that that's that's bugged out really if you look at it okay, if you look at it uh moab you know uh elam ishmael all these different nations for the most part you go into their customs they don't go out and look for women what you do have it now because the devil, he messed up society, but everything was set up to where when you come of age, your parents already, for the most part, set it up to where 
you were going to have a woman. So your your life was not consumed with trying to find a woman. Oh, I need to get this woman. Or right? you weren't over sexualized. And, and America is over uh, uh, causes men to be over sexualized and to pretty much think what they're what they're member. OK, oh, it's pleasure, it's pleasure, it's pleasure. OK, that's um, that's abusing this world for the fashion of this world passive away. But I would have you without carefulness. He that is unmarried. So if you do not have a woman care for the things that belong to the Lord. So if you don't have a, a, a woman. You really should be caring for the things that belong to Yah Shema Shai. Because why? We are the Lord's woman. Okay? He that is unmarried care for the things that belong to the Lord, how he may please the Lord. Now, is, the, is your woman, is she thinking about uh, how she may please you? Or is she thinking how you should please her? Okay? That should show you. That should tell you something right there. But he that is married care for the things that are that are of of the world, how he may please his wife. And you have a lot of men that, you know, fit the scripture. You know, uh, they have a woman and, you know, they, they're, they're dealing with that woman, whether they live with the woman or not, have kids with the woman or not. They care for that woman more than they care for the work of Yah Bashim Ashai. Okay. And, you know, that's why the scriptures speak about, you know, if a man come to me and hate not his wife, hate not, uh, you know, his, his brother, his sister, you know, in his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Okay. Which if you have a woman, you're going to be, you know, you're going to have to deal with her, you know, but, but that comes in, you know, balance. You got to balance things out. You can't, you can't allow that to overwhelm you and consume you. Okay. And then choke the word. Okay. Uh, uh. You be not fruitful because of that woman. And ultimately, the woman is going to pull away from you or is going to try to pull you away from this truth. OK, she that's just that's just her spirit. OK. All right. What woman what woman is 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 encouraging you and monitoring you or I should say. Uh, you know, uh, you know, giving you encouragement, OK, to continue in the faith. <laughs> I like to go on the highways and the hedges, okay, to, 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 to endure America. What woman is doing that? Tell me. All right. She, she, got, she got everything ready for you. She's just taking off a stress, a load of stress off you. No, that's not happening, man. That's, that's, that's in the world to come. Now, you, all, you, all, you will have some remnants of that. You know, you have women that, that you, know, you know, tend to their husband. Okay, that's, you know, and if a man has that, that's the man, that's that man a lot. At the same time, we're not supposed to be, we're supposed to be as we, as we don't have women. Why? It's because we're tending to the, to the, to the will of Yah Shai, which, which, which is our, which is our husband. Okay. So, you know, I, you know, I pray that you brothers will edify with the lesson. You know, we're, we're, you know, life is more than obtaining women. You know, and this world would teach you that you have to get a woman to be validated. Okay, you got to put up with bullshit. Okay, no, that's not the case. We're supposed to be focused on the work of Yah Bashim Shai. So, you know, and you know, until next time, I want to save all. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yah Shai Bashim Rakagudash. You know, uh, double honor to my apostle elders and peace and blessings to you. I came out there pushing out this word in true sincerity. Shalom to elect and death to death to Babylon.